firefighters do that for you on your 16th birthday? Dear? No, they haven't. <laughs> but I haven't had the life experiences that Mia has had. Yeah, probably so. not. Yeah, that would make a difference. So the storm coming our way tomorrow, Brian, yeah. it looks so impressive right off the coast when you look at the satellite imagery. Take a look at the clouds there. I mean, look at the bottom right there. That's the cold front. And it's switching from regular satellite, if we put this into infrared, it pulls out where the high cloud tops are, and you can really see a wedge at the bottom. There's your cold front. This is all the cold air behind it. That's going to be Monday's story. This is tomorrow's story. So let's put that into the future cast, play this forward, and watch that line of showers come into about the afternoon tomorrow around four or five o'clock there's your cold front you see the well-organized line so we looked at this at the top of the newscast let's play that forward that marches its way across the bay area clears the south bay by midnight that much we've seen already there's a bullseye for snow right there falling on mount hamilton there won't be a lot but we get snow on the mountains again because it's cold enough for it after sunday which we've covered monday is filled with these scattered showers out here watch what happens through monday morning it's very hit or miss. Most of them have bad aim and will be a miss. But we have a chance for small hail on Monday morning. That should be done by Monday late morning, and then the rain turns off. The wind is the other aspect of this. Same thing. Here comes the cold front. You see the line right there. Winds are coming up from the south in front of it, out of the north behind it. This is where you're going to notice the winds pick up in intensity. Watch that line. It sweeps across the Bay Area at the same time that leading edge of the rain does. But Afterwards, by the time we've gotten into Monday morning, these hour, Monday's going to feel cold because of the wind chill factor more than anything else. If we look at rainfall totals, they're not big. Maybe we get about a half an inch of rain out of this. And that says a lot about the nature of tomorrow. Because even though, you know, you're going to get that organized line of showers that through, it'll drop some decent amounts of rain at times. And there's the light snow falling on Mount Hamilton. It's always fun, but it's not a major impact. This will be more important. That's the snow in the Sierra. Snow level getting down as low as 2,500 feet. That's Placerville in gold country. Anybody who's driving in the Sierra, you got to plan on snow. And that covers Sunday through Monday. Morning lows tomorrow aren't that bad. It'll be cold in Santa Rosa at 35, but everybody else stays in the 40s. Low 60s. But the breeze picks up low on Tuesday. I'm using San Jose as my example here. We're going to bottom out at 38. So it will be cold by early next week. And the other thing not to be left out of this story, don't forget about your clocks. Tomorrow, 2 a.m., this is a couple hours from now. Forward, it is the start of daylight saving time. All right, in the seven-day forecast, the next chance for rain gets here at the end. Friday, going into next weekend, we've got another chance of rain by the time we get there. Okay, Vern, over to you.